Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and uh, we're here today with the all-new welling hood from Optrell. So, in this video, we're going to go over uh, a couple of new hoods that they just came out with, um, and they got a do different design, different headgear. Um, we're going to open these up and check them out. So, what is so new about these helmets? So, they came, they have the Panoramax, and then they have the old Crystal 2.0. Now, it's not old; it's fairly new, but um, this one is my personal one. I absolutely love that crystal. It welds great. I don't own a Panoramax, but I've welded with them and they're awesome. So what changed in these new models is now you can get the crystal lens in a Panoramax edition. So it is the CLT. It's called the Panoramax CLT and they come in black and silver. Silver being the most, uh, the highest dollar one and then the black is the next one down. Also the Panoramax is still out there. Um, they're still, but it doesn't have, the new ones have the crystal lens in them. And then the other panoramics they came out with is called the Quattro. So the Quattro hood is a hood that is good for up to 350 amps. So what they changed on that, it doesn't have the crystal lens. It's, it does have a, uh, you can go up to a higher shade. So you can go from four to 13, whereas the crystal panoramics goes from four to 12 and the old panoramics goes from five to 12. So it's a little bit a little bit different, but the, the Quattro is for heavier amperage and it's gonna have a, a darker shade lens. Now let's open up these boxes and see the differences on them. I'll show you guys the new headgear that they just came out with. So these two are right here. So as you can see, this is the Panoramax CLT in silver. So this is the Panoramax with a crystal lens in it. So you're gonna get the 2.0 resting state, right? So I mean, it's gonna be the same lens as the crystal, but you've got the Panoramax view, right? So the Panoramax claim fame is six times larger viewing area. Um, you can see a lot clearer. Now, even more clear. So let's, uh, you flip this in and now it comes with an extra lens for the Panoramax. So as you can see here, they changed their headgear. Now their new headgear is called ISOFIT. Um, I've tried it on, it is, it is really comfortable, a lot of adjustability. Um, it fits your head very, very nice. Uh, we're gonna do a video on that where you can put this, retrofit your old Panoramics or your old Crystal with the new headgear. But that'll be in the next video coming up. So on this hood, you can see, Got a grind button, your regular adjustability here. Same as, the, as always with the adjustability on the side. And then on the panoramics, everything was on the inside that you can see where you can adjust your, what shade and all that, um, your sensitivity, the delay, everything's on the inside. So this thing does have twilight like the crystal, the 2.0 does. Um, it's just the adjustments on the inside. So what's so good about this headgear? It's the new, that new ISO fit. So it's got an inner liner that you can pull out and wash. It's got an inner flexible liner that flexes with your head. And it's got the outer rigid liner that holds true so it stays on your head just fine. Now, what I, what I noticed about it is, see how when you turn that, it loosens but you can crank it. So it's got these two steel cables that wrap up around and it pulls the front in and the back end and it hugs, the, hugs your head really, really nice. Um, now, as you can see, the back adjustment, you can adjust this it's for up and down. So if you have a smaller head, you'd obviously go up and it would, it would fit better. Same thing with the front, you can go up and down. Now I got them all the way down. Um, let's try this thing on and give it a shot here. So it's all the way open. And one more thing too, I wanted to point out. So when you say we tighten it, now it's tight. But as soon as you hit that, the loosen, you can pull it and it opens, opens up. So it almost, I mean, it fits your head kind of like a glove. I mean, really, I'm gonna tighten it up here. Yeah, that's, it's really comfortable. Really, really comfortable. Now I'm a fan of this headgear, this old style headgear, but this headgear here, I'm definitely gonna get a retro fit for mine. That is, that is nice. Let me, oh yeah. And with that panoramics, with that panoramics view, you got it. The peripherals are amazing. I mean, you can see left and right now. 
you're gonna ask do you watch to the left and right when you weld no but it is nice to see the whole weldment or whatever you're working on it works out great that is a really comfortable headgear so and I like that a lot so that's new with uh, now this is the CLT silver they, they make a black which is this unit right here is the CLT in black and then this is the quattro so like I said before the quattro is not going to have the crystal lens but it does have a 111 rating 1111 rating so four ones and these two have a 1112 rating so the reason this one gets a 1111 rating is for the the ability to go the clarity at a higher shade so that is uh i mean that's pretty good go up to shade 13 so those are people who are running at shade 13 is going to be let's say you know 350 amps maybe over 300 amps is probably what they're going to be at um so it's a high heat hood uh, same thing panoramics you get the same peripheral thing it's just you can go to a darker shade pretty sweet though um now the next thing i was going to take you can like i'll go back to the retrofit you can retrofit your old hood with that new headgear um and you can choose the color knobs that you want on there but we're going to go over that here in a little bit on another video all right so we got the helmets all lined up here um i have so we're going to go back over what they got so these are the panoramic clt version we got silver and black they have the old panoramics that comes with the new headgear uh, not the crystal lens though and then we have the quattro here which is the darker shade and the clarity rating of 1111 so on a, on a grand scale the biggest question we get is how much are these helmets running so this one right here the quattro is going to be right around about 469 the clt in black is going to be about 495 and then this one being the most expensive is going to be about 555 but they are in stock at baker's gas they come out today um, and if you do purchase one, we're going to throw in a free front pack of clear lenses for them. That's about a $30 value. Uh, and then down below, we're going to link a bundle package for the Panoramic Series that comes with a nose piece um, and some lenses, some extra accessories, that sort of thing in the bundle. But if you have any questions or comments, please link them below. We'll do our best to answer them. Um, stay tuned for more videos on the he headgear we're going to go over. Um, but right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld with this unit because I wanna try it out. Um, I know I'm using, I use an old crystal, but I'm gonna try the new Panoramics crystal because I wanna give it a shot. I'll let you know how it welds. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give this one a shot here. I'll pack up the t joint here. I mean, you can see the whole in this panoramics lens you can see the whole weld joint and uh, it is so clear with that crystal crystal lens technology that is something else um that is an impressive hood that headgear is really nice fits my head very nice uh, might need some fine-tuned adjustment on the height and all that but boy all in all that is a really nice hood um, I personally like that that style right there like I said I have the old silver crystal but the uh, with the headgear change and that new lens, I think those things are going to be um, those are top top of the line helmets. Those are awesome. I personally like the silver one the best, but they uh, they really that is really impressive. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks.